Never in my life I would have thought that I was gonna say this, but it's getting way too hot to handle. I come from a place that it usually has temperatures between 26 and 28 every day of the year. Maximum it can go at like 30s because I live in the town. But if you were to go to the coast, it would be maximum 31, 32. But I never, I don't usually go to the coast. So I spend most of the, my time in the town, and it's it's always in the 20s, always, all year round. So I never thought coming to France in hot weather would be a problem. And like yesterday, it was 38. 38. So the thing with when the temperature gets to 30 Celsius, well, more than 30 Celsius, that's the only thing, the only thing your mind can think. It's like, it's way too hot, something has to happen. So I've developed a rule book for this really hot weather. The easiest first rule is forget about your trousers. Don't work out. It's hot as fuck. Don't need to work out. I'm talking about hot Don't wear trousers. No. Second thing is this. This is a smart person. You need to close the freaking windows and everything because the weather outside is so hot. It only makes your apartment hot. So you think, well, I'll, I'll open all my windows so we can get a bit of ventilation. The thing is, it's so hot that by opening everything, it will only make it hotter. And what, then when you then it hits up your apartment, so don't do that. Third thing is, I, I didn't like this. I'm a morning person, but for for surviving, for 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 staying alive, you need to become a nocturnal animal. You need to go out at night, don't go out in the morning, especially if you're on vacation. Uh, I like waking up early, I like doing my shit in the morning, but there's, you need to push the hours in this kitchen. Just, just because of the temperature reasons. You have to become kind of like a Spanish. You need to do stuff late. So eat dinner late, go to bed late, uh, wake up late, wake up as late as you can. It's not because you're a lazy person, it's because of temperature reasons and survival. Don't think about it, you're not lazy, it's just survival. That's it. So these are my tactics, my favorite tactics for ultra hot weather. And yes, I have a mess. I'm leaving tomorrow for a long trip. But I still want to do the video. You need to drink a shitload of water. A lot. Like, this is a big ass bottle. You need to drink three of these at least per day, which is a lot. You need to treat it like a psychological worker and get yourself. Because you cannot change weather. As much as you would want to, you cannot just... Hey, now it's not 35, it's 20 Celsius. You cannot do that. But what you can change is how you perceive it. You can think that it's a war. You need to win the war. You need to get out victorious. It's difficult. But that's what hot weather is. But another thing about hot weather is that, for example, in cold weather, if you get cold, what do you do? Just put it on the way. And you're good. Hey, you know, let's say I'm cold like this, so I just put on a hoodie. Hey, I'm even colder, so I put on a jacket and a hoodie. I'm good. With hot weather, you cannot do that. You can get completely naked, but as naked. And you can still be hot. And then you cannot take off more layers from clothes because you don't have more. So there's only one way to fight it. That is with your mind. You need to create these little things of drinking a lot of water, closing down the windows, trying to go at night when the temperature is a bit lower than it is in the middle of the day and not getting the sunlight when it's at its highest point at its climax getting to your apartment 
especially if you don't have an NC, like me. That's that's a problem. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I have to continue packing stuff and as well enjoy summer. It will not last forever, and then we'll live with all the life. All I need to live is hot because we're humans and we want what we can't have. That's the thing. Okay, see you in the next one. Love you, bye!